Okay, everybody, hold on to your wheelchairs. It's time for our popular segment, Down Home Advice with Granny Dog. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Three questions for her. Phone is ringing. Dissipation. Hello? Hey, Granny. How are you? I, I'm happy-go-lucky. A- and yourself? We are lovely. So, before we get started, everyone wants to know about your MySpace page. How's that going? <laughs> oh, my. I have lots of friends. <laughs> and I'm so proud of it. <laughs> yeah, I was on the other day. I saw you had, like, over 100 fans, friends already. There's like a bazillion of them. They write me such kind letters and some very, very nice uh, uh, um, uh, words have come my way. I want to do a shout out to my girl Jody in New Jersey and her husband Chris and her kids. It looks like she's got three of them. Thanks so much for your support, Jody. You're be quite, becoming quite the diva on there. Oh, I'm no diva, but that MySpace is sure is fun. Okay, are you ready for our first question? Bring it on. All right, this one is coming from Wanda in Florida. She says, Dear Granny, there's a guy at work who's always telling me how beautiful I am. But recently when I passed him in the hallway, he grabbed his crotch and stuck his tongue out, tongue out at me. I'm not sure how to handle this, but I'm sure that you have plenty of experience with this. What should I do? That's not very nice. Flash him and see what he thinks about that. Cat calls are my specialty. Talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that may be. Okay, question number two. Number two, number two, number two. Says, Dear Granny, I'm up for a promotion next week at work, but I feel that a fellow employee who has been there much shorter time than I have, might get it. If I don't get it, what should I do? Oh, you could sleep with your boss and win the promotion back. It's not what you know, it's who you do. Okay. This one is coming from a woman named Maxine from Georgia. She says, I'm tired of picking up after my deadbeat husband. He's always leaving his belongings and personal things everywhere. However, I'm afraid if I tell him, I'll come across as a mother figure. What's the best way for me to take care of the situation? Well, dear, it sounds like you married trailer trash. I would take money out of his wallet every hour you you clean for him and go buy yourself something nice. Oh, and maybe some nice bling. Sounds like great advice to me, as always. Okay, Granny. We'll talk to you next week. Okay, Jeremy. I can hardly wait. Bye-bye. Hey, this is Granny Dolly. Get the full story online at lunchboxshow.com. Join me and the rest of the crew every Friday. See you then.